There are many creative people that can build the most unique and unusual boat designs ever seen, from boats that can split in half to ones that can dive beneath the waves. So join me as we take a look at 15 of the most unique designs and concepts. Number 15. Wind Ship It used to be that every vessel that took to the waves was either human-powered or wind-powered, but this completely changed with the invention of the combustion engine. And now the shipping industry is responsible for producing as much as 3% of global greenhouse emissions, which is far more than the entire aviation sector. Due to the size and power required to move ships through the water, as well as the distances they need to travel between ports, it's simply not feasible to use battery technologies in the same way as are being introduced to cars to reduce emissions. But there are alternatives. One of these is called the wind ship which is a prototype design that aims to use the power of the wind to generate electricity to drive the engines of large container ships. To do this, a series of rigs are attached to the deck, which can be up to 158 feet tall and are made up of three wings each. It may look strange, and of course it relies on there being enough wind, but the company believes that any large ship that uses this design could reduce its fuel load by an average of 80% and that a 74,000-ton deadweight vessel that's full of cargo would be able to power itself purely by wind energy if the wind speed is above 25 knots. Number 14. E-Ship 1 Whether it be by the wind, human power, or an engine, the most common technique used to move a boat through the water is simple. You channel the energy in a way that applies forward momentum, and the vessel will move in that direction. This isn't the only way to create this end result, though, and one of the largest ships in the world that makes use of an alternative method is the E-Ship 1. It's what's known as a Flettner ship, and amazingly requires wind to be able to operate. But because of the way it's designed, the wind can be blowing in any direction. This is because it makes use of something called the Magnus Effect, which is the name given to how gases and liquids behave differently in the presence of spinning objects. The four large pillars that rise up above the deck of the E-Ship 1 are in fact 82-foot-tall rotating columns that are powered by diesel engines. Wind that blows onto them is then forced at an angle that's perpendicular to the direction it's blowing, and the axis of the rotors, something that can be manipulated to apply force to push the ship along its route. It means that the ship is able to sail closer to the wind than traditional sail ships, and doesn't use as much fuel as ones that rely on engine power alone but still has a respectable top speed of around 20 miles an hour, which means that it's more than competitive with the alternatives. Number 13, Watson class oil recovery vessel. Human-made pollution is a serious problem on the oceans, and relatively small accidents can cause untold damage to wildlife and ecosystems for the surrounding regions. Oil in particular is a serious danger. The more it's extracted from the seabed and transported on ships, the more likely it is to be released into the water. It's notoriously difficult to clean up, but the fact that it floats on water gives an opportunity at least to remove as much as possible before it spreads. To assist with clearing up pollution like this, the German Navy built two vessels in the 1980s that are known as the Botzen-class oil recovery vessels. When docked or sailing to where they're needed, they look just like any other ship, but when they begin to work to clean water, it becomes clear that they're very different indeed. That's because they're actually twinned hull vessels and are able to open up the bow by 65 degrees. This gives a contained working area of 430 square feet, and the ship then pumps the surface water into a 28,000 cubic foot tank where it can be treated and the oil or chemical can be removed. By using this method, each ship can clean almost 5,000 cubic feet in an hour, which is substantially more than any other technique is able to achieve. Number 12. Fed Ship Pure With more billionaires around the world than ever before, the market for luxury private yachts is going from strength to strength, and this has resulted in a number of incredible designs that will soon be making it to the marinas of Morocco or St. Barts. One that's made many waves in the industry in recent years has been created by Fed Ship, and it's currently known as the Pure. First revealed at the 2021 Monaco Boat Show, the 268-foot yacht is said to have future-proof design that can continually update its propulsion systems as more efficient designs become available. Very little is currently known about precisely what's featured on this yacht, but some of the unusual design features include a lower deck command center instead of having a traditional bridge. The exterior is unlike anything else on the water right now, with a sculpted profile, and the interior is as open plan as possible to create the impression of one large floating space for relaxation and enjoyment. 
Designs like this are going to become more common in the future of private yachts, but with an asking price upwards of 60 million bucks, only a few people will ever be able to think of affording one. Number 11. Pioneering Spirit This enormous ship is the Pioneering Spirit, and at 1,253 feet long, 407 feet wide, it's one of the largest vessels to have ever been built. Estimated to have cost around $3 billion, it's a catamaran crane vessel, and it's used to install and transport large oil and gas platforms, and can also be used to install huge sections of pipeline as well. It's designed so heavy pieces can be held at both the stern and the bow, which means they spread the weight more effectively. And its shallow draft means it can perform operations for 90% of the world's offshore platforms, with the operating company hoping further upgrades will make it a viable support vessel for all of them. Amazingly, the pioneering spirit is able to lift weights of up to 53,000 tons. This means it needs some serious power behind it. For that reason, it's fitted with eight diesel generator sets, each of which produces 11,000 kilowatts. Despite this, the vessel only has a maximum speed of 16 miles per hour. Number 10. Ulstein X-Bow The shape of the hull of most ships is usually fairly standard, and it's based on tried and tested techniques that have all been developed over thousands of years. But it's not necessarily the most efficient way of doing things. There's an alternative design philosophy that's known as having an inverted bow, and means that the farthest forward point of the ship isn't at the top of the deck, but at its lowest point. The Ulstein X-Bow is a great example of this, and is a bow design that's applied to vessels that look much more like what you'd expect on a submarine than a surface ship. This means that it has a much longer water line, which increases the hull speed and also reduces the overall hydrodynamic drag. In case of the X-Bow, it allows vessels to travel faster, and instead of riding over the waves, it'll tend to go through them, which allows it to remain far more stable in rough conditions. Surprisingly, ships with bows like these have also been proven to use less fuel, because without traveling over the waves, they have shorter distances, and they're also usually far more maneuverable, too. The only real downside is that vessels get covered with far more spray because the waves break over them, so the design isn't suited to all ships. But for ones where this doesn't matter, an inverted bow is becoming far more common. Number 9. Nexen Skagerrak As we live in an increasingly interconnected world, the transmission of data and energy around our planet is more important than ever before. Satellites do a lot of this work, but are incredibly expensive to put into orbit, and the main infrastructure that we rely upon are deep-sea cables. Stretching at times many thousands of miles and sitting on the seabed at extreme depths, it's not simply a case of dropping the cable into the water and hoping for the best. Specialized equipment is needed, and this includes the ships that are used to transport and lay the cable into the ocean. One of the most reliable of these is a vessel called the Nexen Skagerrak that was built in 1976. It was vital, for example, in the delivery of power and communication cable links between Spain and Morocco in the late 90s, the Gemini project in the Gulf of Mexico, and the Abu Safa project in Saudi Arabia, as well as being the vessel used to lay the world's longest high-voltage submarine power cable between Norway and the Netherlands. To do this, it's not just fitted with cable handling and lifting equipment, it has sophisticated GPS and remotely operated vehicles that can dig trenches in the seabed, but it also has its own onboard workshop that the crew can use to make any variety of alterations or repairs needed. It's essentially a one-stop shop for deep-sea cabling, and has proved to be so effective that the company that owns it has decided to continue upgrading it rather than considering the construction of a replacement. Number 8. Ramform Titan Class Seismic Vessel Drilling for oil can be tricky enough when it's done on land, but there's a whole different level of risk when it happens in the ocean. Companies have to scour huge areas to find the best place to drill while causing as little damage to the surrounding environment as possible. One of the ways they decide this is by thoroughly mapping the seabed, and a crucial piece of equipment to do this is a seismic ship. Essentially, they fire seismic waves at the ocean floor and monitor the waves that are reflected back towards them, but this requires a huge amount of machinery to do so properly. The Ramform Titan-class seismic vehicle is built for this singular purpose, and almost looks as if the designers have forgotten to add the rear part of it. With a 230-foot-wide stern, it's one of the widest ships in the world. This allows it to drag 24 seismic cables in the water behind it. It has its own 18-megawatt power station on board, and this is a vessel that's designed to stay at sea for long periods of time. 
It can hold enough fuel to continue operations for up to 150 days at a time and to look after the 80-strong crew when they're spending this time away from home. There's also a huge sports arena, swimming pool, sauna, fitness room, three television lounges, and a large auditorium to help them pass the time. Number 7. Infinity Max The Infinity Max is a new concept that's been created by Stena Bulk, the shipping company, to show how they envisage a future where the industry can be sustainable and become carbon neutral. Designed to carry both dry and wet goods, it's made up of modular compartments that can be configured depending on what will be kept inside them, and they can independently be removed or added at each port that the vessel visits. Each of these cargo units will be completely self-sufficient in terms of its energy use, with their own solar panels or wind turbines to provide all the electricity needed for the internal systems. The main structure of the ship itself will then use hydrogen as its main fuel for the engines and have further turbines to provide any extra power that's needed. Another clever part of this design will also help reduce congestion at ports, because to deliver cargo, the entire ship doesn't actually need to moor. Instead, the modules can be released and tugboats would then be used to either take them into port or deliver them for integration into the ship. Stena Bulk hopes that a concept like this will become one of the most commonly used solutions for cargo transport over the next few decades, with only the largest, bulkiest, or most volatile products needing a different approach. Number 6. The RP Flip The main priority for every ship designer is to create something that, even under extreme situations, won't submerge beneath the surface of the water. With the RP Flip, it's been designed to do exactly this. It's a research platform that's been specifically built to operate in the open ocean, but the problem with trying to conduct experiments in locations like this on traditional boats is the lack of stability. When it's traveling between places, the RP Flip looks like any other ship. It's 355 feet long and 26 feet wide. When it's reached its position, however, the deck of the ship begins to lower and flood, and it pitches backwards by 90 degrees, which leaves just the forward 55 feet above the water. The entire remainder of the ship is submerged, and when it's like this, that weight acts as a ballast beneath the influence of the surface waves. It's able to accommodate five crew and 11 scientists at a time. It studies wave heights, acoustic signals, water temperature and density, and also meteorological events. Because of the sensitivity of what it researches and the way that most of it is submerged, it doesn't have any engines or means of propulsion of its own, and instead has to be towed into place by a support ship. Number 5. The Carapace If you visit any of the most luxurious waterfront harbors in the world, the chances are you'll see a series of huge and extravagant private yachts. And with more and more people now being able to afford them, they aren't exactly the status symbol that they once were. For billionaires looking to stand out above the rest, though, technology is now making groundbreaking designs even more possible. And the carapace is probably the most next-level concept that has currently been proposed. That's because rather than being your typical type of yacht, this one can also become a submarine with the flick of a switch. According to the team behind its creation, it will be able to submerge at a depth of 985 feet for up to 10 days at a time and offer unparalleled views of the underwater world. It also has an unmistakable design for when it's on the surface too, which will surely turn heads in any marina and has all of the onboard amenities you'd expect, such as a swimming pool, plenty of guest accommodation, a hot tub, and a health club across its three levels. It's made from lightweight aluminum. The designers admit that the carapace is probably a little ahead of its time, but if the right person came along with the hundreds of millions of dollars it would take to build, they believe one of these could take to the oceans by the end of the decade. Number 4. Blue Marlin Sometimes, if a ship becomes stranded at sea or a piece of oil rig needs to be moved, a vessel with cranes simply won't be powerful or stable enough to be able to do the job. This is when an elevator ship like the Blue Marlin is needed. After first setting sail in 2000, the ship has since traveled around the world to perform a number of difficult lifts. Its secret trick is that the 712-foot-long vessel is able to submerge its main deck to a depth of 33 feet. This makes it possible to float its cargo above it before it raises it back to the surface. This method allows it to transport ships that can, in some cases, weigh tens of thousands of tons and wouldn't be movable by any other means. Requiring a crew of 55 people, it isn't exactly the fastest moving of ships, with a top speed of about 16 miles per hour. This means that they're often at sea for many months on end. 
On board there is therefore a workout room, a sauna, swimming facilities, and a heavily fortified and secured citadel safe room to protect them from pirate attacks, something that's needed to be used several times in the past few years. Number 3. Baltica Icebreaker Operating in icy waters is one of the most difficult environments for any vessel, and to be able to truly traverse the coldest oceans on Earth, an icebreaker is needed. Traditional designs require these sturdy vessels to move back and forth to crack the ice, and for the icebreaker to have similar dimensions to any following ships to ensure the space it opens up is wide enough. But in 2014, the first of a new approach to icebreaker design was launched, the Baltica. Built with an asymmetric hull, it's not only able to move forwards and backwards, but also sideways with a large angle of attack, and this enables the relatively small vessel to open up a much wider channel in the ice, more than three times the size of that of a similarly sized traditional vessel could manage. To do this, it has three engine pods on the hull that can rotate and provide propulsion at any angle, and the addition of a series of azimuth thrusters give even more control over its movement, making it ideal for fast-moving search and rescue operations and guiding other ships through ice fields. Of course, such an unusual design comes with its drawbacks, though, and in the case of the Baltica, the shape of the hull means it's extremely unstable in open water, something that the crew have to be specially trained to handle. Number 2. Ocean Bird The strange-looking Ocean Bird is the creation of a Swedish company that's trying to significantly reduce the emissions that are released by transatlantic vehicle transport vessels, and a series of ideas that have been incorporated into it make this a viable contender. Once built, it's expected to be 656 feet long and will be one of the tallest sailing ships ever made, reaching as high as 344 feet above the water's surface. These aren't the type of fabric sails you may be used to, though, and are instead far more like the wings of an aircraft, something that will allow them to transpose far more of the wind's energy into forward momentum to the ship. Amazingly, it will be able to carry 7,000 cars and cross the Atlantic in 12 days, a journey that takes 8 days for a fuel-powered ship. And while it may cost more in the first place, its reduced operating costs mean that it could be an economically viable alternative, while at the same time reducing fuel use by as much as 90%. Number 1. Nouveau Super yacht design has gotten increasingly spectacular in recent years, and possibly the most visually impressive and next-level one of them all is the Nouveau. With eye-catching lines and walls that almost look like tentacles, it's packed full of features that, if it's ever built, will make its new owner the envy of all their peers. Inspired by Art Nouveau artists, there's barely a straight line on the exterior, and the experience and privacy of those on board have been thought about at every stage of the design. Two VIP cabins, for example, each have fold-down balconies, while there's a private sun deck that gives separation from all the other guests on board. With a stunning infinity pool, jacuzzi, and even its own waterfall that runs over multiple decks into the main pool, there's endless outdoor space made up of entertainment areas and sun decks. Said to enhance the feeling of being at one with nature and the seascape, revolutionary designs like this will almost certainly become commonplace in the coming years, for those that can afford it. Watch our Machines playlist for more Top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.